you've seen a lot of people like grown away from Messina saying like she's not it. She's kind of too bland. She doesn't have enough like cheese. Yeah, I mean, I think her cheese is just that she edge guards you, right? Yeah. She's so good at putting you to the stage, to the ledge, and those big disjointed hitboxes is 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 allowing her to be so incredibly good off stage. However, Villager having a very you know, having an ability to mix up with balloons, with that Lloyd Rocket, which we just saw, having the ability to contest you with aerial projectiles, which is not something we see from too many characters, and doing a very good job early, not letting Mr. E find these edge guard situations, even though he's getting put off stage a lot. Yeah, and he has 45%. It's been like he's been in control the entire game. You already see Elam at 109 and counting. And just been at this left ledge for literally all his life, it feels like. He's in his hometown. Yep, and this center, right, this sma starting on Smashville makes me think that Mr. E is the one who won that RPS because Villager just can't get away from Lucina on this stage, doesn't have the space to set up. That center platform means that if you mix up high, right, Lu even if you mix up high and try to recover to it, Lucina's so good at juggling. Yeah, I know. And, but... What is, uh, I thought that was going to be a stock trade for a second, but great heads up play, play from Elam to just steal that first stock away. Yeah, I know. He basically bowled a strike like on his like last frames, like, yo, this is it. Yeah, but unfortunately not able to get extra credit, losing his stock right back, racking on some spare now, and, well, both these players don't have the best grab range. That's no. what we just saw. No, they, they're not grabbers. <laughs> But well, oh. Mr. E able to get a grab conversion right there when he does get a grab. And the weak turnip not going to seal it out. Poor RNG there from Elam going to come back to bite him. Using the Nair to get out of dodge and down, throwing the tree, getting the axe. So he's looking to set up for a kill yeah. here. Or maybe a weird ledge trap app. Going to see Ooh. him actually chop it down. down. But just uh, instead of just threatening the axe, pulling out higher frame data options and calling out Mr. E, e when he's not ready, sealing out that beautiful edge card. Yeah, I know. He did an excellent job ending that stock right there. Just baited out all of Mr. E's option and it's like, okay, you have nothing left. Now I'm going to go out in there. And now just playing to his their game, just stalling out Mr. E, just playing a bit more defensive, saying you have to come to me. And you don't have a projectile, so you got to fight on my and terms. That, that was so smart. The back air there into the into that uh, forward air, able to find the grab conversion off of it. Doesn't get too much more. I love the pocket B reverse as well, just as a mix of attempt. But Mr. E ready for it, ready for the Lloyd Rocket as well, and gonna close out the stock player board. Yeah, no, Mr. E is doing a good job. Just like keeping pace. Is feels like he's been winning like 85% of this game, but it's somehow he's just losing. Elam is just able to close out these stocks at the correct moment. Yeah, it, 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 it definitely is like Villager loses neutral for a minute, gets one chance to set up, and all of that losing suddenly becomes conditioning, yeah. and then you just die. And it's been pretty frustrating. And that's what makes Elam so good. He's just able to find his opportunity and just pounce on it. Yeah, that time though, he's gonna be the one getting pounced on his landing, getting caught. However, still finding his way down to stage very quickly. That bowling ball, Mr. E this time ready for it, drifting that, a little bit under the ledge, so. That guy is so risky. I would not have thrown out that. Oh, and that's gonna be the very E. A lot of players there are gonna opt to try and get that bowling ball, but Elam recognizing that Mr. E is pretty good at this game. Yeah. He can mash pretty hard. Calls him out with the up smash instead on that mash on the berry release. Really good stuff. Yeah, no, he definitely called him. I would not have mashed that hard. My player self. Sounds like you need to come uh, to get to, out to Boston and learn how to mash harder. No. Zero more party in my skills. Okay. Damn. The second I get buried, game over. So what you're saying is people should play DK and K rule against yeah. you in bracket at LPM. Yeah. Yes, they should. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. You heard it from player four. He's going to lose to DK and K. Well, he's totally not lying to the people right now. Never lie to the people. These are my people. Why would I lie to you guys? All right, let's start start of game two. <laughs> two. And we're going right back here to Smashville. Mr. E definitely won that RPS, I think, considering yeah. this is where we're going. Yeah. It's so good on paper, but Elam sealing out the game one, starting off slowly again. But this corner situation is really where he's found so much throughout the set. Yeah, and in front of Mystery, I do see the logic. I don't think I lost because of the stage. 
I basically had control for most of the game. I just need to clean it up in a few instances, and it's basically mine. Yeah, he just keeps getting mixed up by Elam. Make, knowing he knows the kit of both these characters so well, right? This is the downside of Lucina, is that she's simple. Yeah, no, she she doesn't have, I wouldn't say mix. I think like the better word is like, I wouldn't, I don't know the better yeah. word. Some, someone in the dictionary. I, I think it's very un easy to understand yeah. her win conditions. It's very easy to understand what she's looking for in any situation. Whereas if a character like Villager, you know, maybe maybe he's got a little bit more movement in their standard game plan. Yeah, it's probably but, a good way to put it. You know, in simplicity also comes beauty, and that's what we're seeing from Mr. E here, just doing a beautiful job showing you how to keep your opponent alive, call them out, find these juggles, find these these edge guards, just maintain this advantage state and not let you land back down to the ground. Yeah, no. All right, down tilt. Yeah, didn't get much out of it. He usually does get a tech chase at this percent, so that's why I was trying. I was looking for something. But yeah, back throw, not gonna take it right there. And the, I love the tree mix up, forcing the upbeat bowling ball as well. L, L, you try to weave between those, and Mr. E just not able to find a way back. Yeah, and really rare for him to actually miss ledge too. So I give that a good job too. You have to apply so much pressure off stage. Yeah. I mean, he really had no choice because otherwise, right, he's either getting caught by tree if he upbeats earlier, or by if he upbeats later, he's getting caught by that bowling ball. Yeah. So. And now just the Dancing Blade gonna get mixed up into that Dolphin Slash, not gonna close it out just yet, but something we might see more from Mr. E, he's starting to condition an Elam to try and get a little bit closer to his shield, and we're ne seeing that percent where if nothing else, it would close out the stock. Yeah, no. And Mi Mr. E is not afraid to throw out these shield breakers, so you see a bunch of run-up shields by Elam, you see right there. Don't be afraid, don't be like cautioned if Mr. E just Goes up and breaks the shield. Up throw gonna end the stock right there. I was gonna say, that, that was at 200%. Yeah. The fact I, that Villager lived that long against Lucina is absurd. Yeah, but he hasn't been getting, I'm sure he hasn't been getting like the best of hits. And that fair is kind of stale. He's been throwing it out a lot. Yeah, no, he ab absolutely. Great job saving his jump there. Knowing how much Elam's like this bowling ball so far and gonna pop to mix up high using his jump there again to get out of the situation. And maybe it's Elam, we'll see how many bowling balls he uses going forward. It's very good, but Mystery's finally starting to adjust around it on this ledge. Oh, weeding the roll. That was so Ending clean. the stock. And, and with Tree there, like, I understand it, right? That's a setup where Elam has run up and bowling balled every time, oh, so you're expecting no to jump. try and find it. Oh my god. Wow. wow. Elam. Wow. Just ending him. Mystery E just. Right, that was the second time he got forced into, you know, a situation without a jump where he had to, he got stuck between a rock and a hard place.